Hey, this is attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein, and today we're going to be talking about can you set up an LLC in the United States if you are not a resident of the United States? So the short answer is yes, but it may get complicated. There are two issues with someone who is not a resident of the United States. The first issue is if you're also not a U.S. citizen. So if you don't have a social security number or an ITIN, an individual tax ID number, then it makes things more complicated. And I'm going to go into how. The second thing is if you're not physically residing in the U.S., even if you are a U.S. citizen and have a social security number, it makes things more complicated. How do these two issues make things more complicated? Well, first, since you don't have a physical address here in the United States, you're going to have to pay someone to have an address here. You're going to need to have a registered agent in the in the state in which you create the LLC. Almost always, not every state requires that. And you're going to need to have some kind of mailing address in the, in the United States. Those are not horribly expensive things, but they will add a cost. The next issue is it is going to be more difficult for you to get a EIN, an employer identification number for your LLC, which is the tax ID number which you may need even if you don't have employees. I know it's called an EIN, but it's a tax ID number is really what it is. And if you don't have a social security number or ITIN for yourself, it makes it harder to do that because you can't do it online. The third issue is that you don't have a way to prove your identity to open up a bank account for most banks. So most banks in the United States, not all of them, I'll talk about that in a minute, require you to come in person to open up a bank account, to do an ID check. And if you're not here, you can't come in person. I haven't seen a way to overcome that with most of the banks here because you can't even go to like a, a affiliate branch overseas that's owned by the same giant corporation. They need someone here in person in the United States, but there is a remedy for that. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. The fourth issue is that if you want to get a trademark in the United States and you need the person who is filing for the trademark, if you're doing it yourself, you're not going to be able to also do the ID verification that you need to be able to get the account that you need to do the filing for yourself for your own business at the trademark office. And then also you're going to have some residency issues that might be able to be overcome if you have an address for the LLC in the United States. But the big issue is going to be you're not able to do the ID check so you can get the account to open up the trademark. Now, there are things to get around all these steps. So let's go into how do you get around these issues? So number one, if you want to set up an LLC in the United States and you're from outside the United States, then I'd recommend hiring someone to help you. Obviously you could hire a lawyer, an individual attorney to do that, but you can also hire some of these services to do that. And most of the services can't deal with it if you're outside the United States very well. If you're doing an LLC specifically, you can look at Doula and they can set up an LLC in, I think every state in the United States. So you can pick which one is appropriate for your particular business. And they are able to do that for people outside the United States. If you want us to be pitching venture capital, if you want to set up a corporation instead, then I'd recommend you looking at Stripe Atlas. They only are setting up Delaware corporations, but a Delaware corporation is the best decision if you're looking to pitch VC angel funding, or if you're just more comfortable with a corporation. I've had a lot of clients from outside the United States, you know, they don't have LLCs in their own country and they're just not comfortable with that type of business entity. And so they would rather have a corporation anyway. In that case, I'd recommend Stripe Atlas. For the second issue is for banking. For banking, you're going to need a bank who can handle and all how to do the ID and how to do everything online for someone who's not in the United States. Mercury is who I currently recommend for that. Mercury Bank is an online bank. They also have very, very high insurance limits for insuring your money, which is a topic of a whole other video on how that works. But it means that more of your money is protected. It's not just the $250,000. It's like, I think they're up to like 5 million. I can't remember what the last high number is. So your money will be the limit on the amount much money is protected by the FDIC in the United States is much, much higher. And they can set up your bank account completely online and you only need a passport. You don't need to have a social security number or a United States ID. And as far as trademark goes, 
there, you also need to hire a lawyer. Now you can hire an individual lawyer that you work with directly, or you can use some kind of service that has actual lawyers. My current recommendation there is Trademarkia. I've had many people who have used Trademarkia and had a good experience with them, and there's actual lawyers who are doing the work for you. You're not just hiring one of these sketchy services where they have random people helping you that aren't actually helping you. You need an actual lawyer who's gonna be your lawyer for this work uh, with a trademark office since you're outside the United States. So my current recommendation is Trademarkium. So bottom line is, can you form an LLC if you reside outside the United States? Yes, but it's a little bit more complicated and what you're gonna need is just help doing it. You're gonna need some boots on the ground here in the United States to help set up things for you, whether you just are not residing in the United States, or if you also aren't a citizen, you don't have a social security number and you need someone to do even that part of the paperwork for you. Again, this is attorney Elizabeth Potts Weinstein. Thank you for watching today. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, feel free to post them in the comments below and I'll try to point you in the right direction. Thumbs up if you found this video helpful. Subscribe for more videos like this. And if you would like even more connection, you can sign up for the free Discord or you can join the Patreon. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.